It was May 13th. Good morning, good evening, and or good afternoon. It's your girl Kesey, and welcome back to my channel. It has been two and a half years maybe has it been three years no it's been two and a half years of me being on youtube and i have never shared with y'all my birthday it was may 13th which was exactly a week ago from today today is thought i had my watch on it is monday the 20th you see seven days later duh use your head use your brain use that math <laughs> yes it is may 20th and my birthday was exactly one monday ago on may 13th the day after mother's day and i just pretty much wanted to come on here and tell y'all why i never celebrate my birthday why i never really tell people it's my birthday coming why i've never showed i mean you know shared with y'all my birthday or what i've done for my birthday i know it's weird to say because i'm in my 20s you know people and they're early 20s you know they go out they drink they party they you know i haven't had a birthday party since i was 12. and that's mainly my choice as well like my mom she still wanted me to you know have a sweet 16. but that was around the time when i moved to north carolina and i didn't really know all those people there and i didn't want to know i didn't want a whole bunch of people i didn't know you know coming to my party or either a whole bunch of people i didn't know that i was expecting to show up and wouldn't like i've always been one of those type of people that was scared people won't show up so never set myself up for that failure <laughs> you know another reason that i haven't celebrated my birthday in the last couple of years not since high school so I, high school was a different reason it's just guys i don't really i don't know it wasn't really a big deal for me and um i mean i would go out to eat with my friends and that was it i was fine i'm very content i don't need a lot but like throughout college i noticed that me celebrating my birthday was not a big deal to me because i start having the mindset of okay what have i done for myself for others for this world for my purpose you know in the last year since my last birthday have i done something that could help someone it, whether it's myself my family anybody i'm not saying i go a year without doing um, anything you know there's n never a year I do absolutely nothing but as far as my birthday I feel like that's a new year what did I do in my last year that was so significant that I could celebrate I don't know you don't really have to think about it in the way I think about it because I overthink everything but that's just how I think about it so of course this past year my 22nd year was one of the best years of my life I started off by um you know finishing four years of collegiate archery that was like the first time i've ever started something and fully finished it to the end something new you know how you try something new and you you like it but you don't go all the time you're not consistent archery was something i was super consistent about the fact that i completed four years of collegiate archery was a super big accomplish uh -huh, accomplishment for me and it was great because i ended my last tournament on May 13th of last year. So, no, it was just like a like a birthday present. I don't know what it was. But I did complete my four years of collegiate archery in my 22nd year. Another thing that I did was finish, I started and finished my last semester of nursing school, which then I graduated and then I started my job and you know like this is crazy to me this is all at 22 years old and there's a lot of people out here that tell me like you you're doing such big things at a young age and you know in my head it's like oh I thought I was supposed to be doing this but I always forget that there's a lot of people that truly don't know what they want to do with their lives it's a lot of people that are just no drive or ambition and I'm just blessed to have parents to have you know encouraged me to follow what i want to do and you know stay encouraged stay ambitious and stay inspired with everything i do so that was of course a huge accomplishment for me um one uh i don't want to say it was an accomplishment but it kind of was um this past year i lost one of my best friends of like 11 years 10 years i don't know i learned known this person since i was in sixth grade and i lost that person as a friend and it really sucked and it took me exactly seven months to heal like from like seven months like recently april was the month where i truly was like okay i'm okay 
with where I am, with what happened. I forgive myself, I forgive that person, and I can move on and actually be happy for them because this person like graduated from college, you know, and just going on with life. And I helped this person with their, you know, photography hobby because it was one of my hobbies and we used to do it together. And I see them growing in photography and I'm just like so proud of them. And I actually could get to a point in my life, in my brain, in my heart where I can truly be proud of them without feeling that hurt that I had for seven months. And that's a big accomplishment for me. And it just shows that I've grown and that when you can get to a point where you can just forgive somebody for hurting you and you forgive yourself for hurting that person, it's, it's a big accomplishment when you're an adult. <laughs> so that's one thing I was super proud of. Another thing was, of course, getting a job here in New Orleans. So I interviewed and everything in October, got the job the same day, literally called me the same day. So that was an accomplishment. And then, of course, my NCLEX experience. Like, y'all, that was a journey in itself, okay? I started work in January, did the first six weeks. On the last week of my training, I took my NCLEX and I failed. I failed the biggest test of my life. <laughs> but I didn't stop there. That's what's so significant about that and about that part of my journey I didn't stop I didn't yes I was discouraged yes it sucked but I bounced back and it's crazy because I did it in a month because I hear a lot of people be like yeah I'm taking it in two months I'm scared to take it I'm scared to schedule it y'all as soon as I got that ATT your girl was like I'm taking it on the second there was no waiting for me. I was not waiting anymore. It was just, oh, I just knew I just needed a good four to five days to just, you know, get back into the groove of studying and, you know, understanding and just knowing what I was doing. And I retook that same test that broke me down and passed it and became a registered nurse. And now I'm working as a nurse. And now I'm on my last week. Y'all, literally, this Friday is my last week of preceptorship. Which is like Orient. Oh my God. And I'm going to be by myself. What is happening? Now can you see why I'm like so proud of what I've done throughout my 22nd year? It was crazy. So, May 13th, 2019, I decided, yo. Your girl is going to celebrate. I deserve it. You know, I spent so many years just like being super nonchalant about my birthday. Not really thinking about it. Not really, you know, asking for anything. People ask me what I want for my birthday. I'm like, I don't know. Nothing. I don't know. I mean, I, I don't know. I, I love gifts. Don't get me wrong. I love gifts, but I hate when people ask me what I want. I don't know. You're the gift giver. Just give me and I will be grateful. You know, like... I'm very simple. I'm very simple. I'm very simple. I will accept it and I will feel so good about the fact that you thought about me, you know? Um, but I did celebrate. So Monday, May 13th, I pretty much spent the whole day with myself. I um, first tried to go to the DMV, which was a failure because you know how the DMV is. Oh my God. So I left there. Went and got me some crab legs, y'all. If you know me if you follow me on snapchat if you know me from real life you know that i've been craving crab legs since the beginning of time or since the last time i had crab legs which, which was in december what i have done so far is nothing so, <laughs> so i went to the notary place and they told me i would have to go to the dmv went to the dmv you know how the dmv is and it's already 11 o'clock so I ended up walking in there looking lost as ever and I was like, you know what? I don't have time for this today. I'm going to do this on another day. So DMV did not happen. I'm not getting no license today because that's just too much. And so now I'm at Cajun Seafood because I want some crab legs. Do you hear me? Some crab legs. And I've been craving crab legs forever. I don't know if they have it and I'm scared, but what I know is I'm gonna give me some crab legs if it's the last thing I do do you hear me do you hear me it says crabs on the side of the window and I'm about to, I'm about to spend I don't care how much I gotta spend y'all I'm about to go get me some crab legs I don't care okay okay all right let's go
I finally got my <laughs> I don't think y'all know how excited I am. I've been craving crab legs for months. And I don't even know why I didn't come over here. Like I didn't, I have no idea. I'm going home. May 13th, 2019, your girl got her some crab legs from Cajun Seafood. And they were so good. They were so good. I filmed a mini mukbang and I started to just like, you know, making one of those mukbangs. But y'all, I forgot I was even recording. Yeah, I was looking at the camera, but I was just like not talking at all. And I was okay with it because, oh my God, it was so good. I don't know what to do. It was so spicy. Oh, it was so spicy. Oh my God. Oh my God. It's so hot. That didn't stop me. I bought four pounds of crab legs with four corn and one sausage. Now, you know I ate that throughout the whole week because my eyes were way bigger than my stomach that day. I went in hungry, so I bought four pounds of crab legs. Don't be like me, but be like me. You know, you deserve it. You treat yourself. And that's what I did. I think I spent $80. Yeah, $80 on all of that. It was so worth it. I ate every bit of it. I think I left one corn off because I forgot I put it in the microwave and I left it in there overnight and it was just like a big deal. But I ate those crab legs from Monday to Thursday night. And Friday was the day I went back to work, so it was just fine, you know. But them crab legs lasted me my whole birthday weekend. It was bomb. Uh, 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 I'm so extra. Um, and so after I did the crab legs, of course, it, got, it gave me the itis. So I took a very long nap. I'm not, I'm telling y'all, I don't do much. I don't do much. I, I can eat and go to sleep for my birthday and I'll be fine. So that's what I did. And then I was like, you know what? I've been wanting to decorate my bathroom. So I actually went to Home Goods. I went to Home Goods, looked around there, and I also went to TJ Maxx and bought me some stuff in my bathroom because I'm trying to, you know, gradually just decorate my house fully. I'm in my bedroom, which is still super plain, which is fine. But I wanted to get like some decorative towels and a, a shower caddy and of course a shower curtain, which I still didn't have. Since January, I've been in here for five months and still didn't have a shower curtain. I had a shower lining and, and that's it. But I didn't have um, rugs that I can stand on after I got out the shower. So I used to put, you know, tiles on the floor and I got tired of doing that. But at the same time, it worked. I'm very simple. Like, understand y'all. I don't need much. <laughs> I don't need much. But I deserve to decorate my bathroom. I bought... Two rugs, I bought a shower caddy, which struggles to stay up on my shower head for some reason. Um, I bought a shower curtain and lots of decorative towels. And that's it. And my bathroom looks way better than it did before. It's just less plain. And so my color scheme with my whole house pretty much is gray. And I didn't realize it until after I bought this stuff. But I love the color gray. I love decorating the color gray. Because you can add any kind of accent color with it. And it's just so cute. So gray and blue is the bathroom. Well, it was originally marble. But, you know, marble has that gray streak in it, so I'm going with that gray, blue, and white theme. And I was thinking of going for the beach theme, so I'll, like, paint or buy some little accents that has to do with beaches. Buy some seashells to sit on the side, I don't know. And I also, one last thing I do need to get is one of those, like, um, I don't know if it's called a shelf. But something just to put my towels in, like when people come over and need a face towel or, a, you know, a dry off towel, I'll have it available for them right there to get. Because I just don't have like a closet in there or in the hallway that people can just go grab towels. So I'm going to get like a little shelf. I don't know what to call it. Is it a shelf? Whatever. I'm going to get one of those to put it like right in front of the uh, bathroom sink so people can just get towels. And that's pretty much the last thing I need in there. And I'm going to paint a picture of a girl with dreads sitting on the toilet and put it over the toilet like I have a whole plan I'm super I'm super excited of course I'm going to record that because I ha I see you in the comments asking for more paint videos so yes definitely once I paint or start painting for my bedroom and also my bathroom y'all are definitely going to see that and we'll have more conversation and that was the end of my actual birthday it was lit I didn't do anything with my friends that day because everybody was at work and so we planned to do something the next day 
And so Tuesday, I got up and got my new license. I had I went through the works at the DMV. So I got there, was all happy because I was like one of the first ones there. I was like number 12 or something, and they were on number six. And it was lit. It was lit. So they call my number and I get up there and I'm like excited and I get there and they're like, do you have your uh, social security, uh, proof of social security and um, birth certificate or passport? I was like, you need that? <laughs> so I'm so frustrated. If you follow me on Instagram, I put up a lot of stories when I'm frustrated. I do like rants and stuff and that was one of the rants. I was so frustrated at the fact that I had to drive back home, which wasn't too far. It was like seven minutes away, but it was me getting back on the highway to do that. It was just way too much. So I went back home, got my birth certificate, my social security card, and my passport just in case. Drove back there and sat there for 50 more minutes. And then I finally, you know, and got my license. So I got my Louisiana license. Um, that same day, I actually checked my mail. My dad's gift to me was basically me buying what I wanted on his Amazon. I actually bought Gary V's Crushing It book. I need to buy um, Crush It or whatever his first book was because this is a really good book so far. It just teaches you entrepreneurship strategies as far as social media and stuff, which I need because I'm, I'm a social media head. And I want to, you know, learn some new things. And I've also been super into just finances and, you know, strategies to get rich. <laughs> Though I'm not trying to, like, get rich quick type thing. I'm just trying to, you know, learn about wealth, learn about strategies to save and, you know, be smart with my money. So that's what I'm, one of my goals this year is just to be smart with my money. Which was on my vision board, if you watched that video. Um, that's why I've been reading a lot. That was also on my vision board. Read more and save money. Two things that I'm tying together, which is going to be great in the long run. So, after the DMV, I think I came back home, ate more crab legs, you know, because we're eating those all week. And then, I think I took a nap or we either watched Netflix. I don't know what I did for the rest of the day. You know what? No, that's not what I did. I don't know what I did. For that time but then i went out to eat with Aaliyah. It ended up just being me and Aaliyah at landry's and it was so good i don't know what she had for dinner but the appetizer that she bought that we shared was the crawfish bread y'all so good and then i got the um crab spinach artichoke dip which was delicious and i got fried shrimp y'all i had a good time of eating and then after that we got, well, I took her home to get dressed because she had just got off of work, so she was still in her scrubs. Took her home, got her dressed, and then we went out for drinks. My friends bought me shots. Say hello. Happy birthday, Kesey. Wait, it's a video? Yeah. Yo, happy birthday. <laughs> Wait, it's a video. Your turn. Happy birthday, Kesey. Thank you. Okay. I'm recording taking your shots. Am I doing them all three in a row? Um, you can do what you can. Okay. Because it's your birthday and you're a grown woman. <laughs> toast me. Alright. Toast the oh. <laughs> Toast to the birthday girl. <laughs> no instant help. Alright. Alright. Okay. Alright. Okay. Okay. Ooh. And I know it's cold because we got it chilled. I like it. Say that's all the boots you She's taking these like a champ. Are they supposed to be hard? Oh, uh, they are. Okay. Okay. No, I'm serious. Like sometimes, I don't know. Maybe I got a lot of energy. Here for it. Here for it. Number three, back to back. She didn't even make a face. We should have got something stronger for her. Maybe. Like. Okay, Casey. <laughs> we tried to take it easy on her. How you feel? I'm feeling it go down now. Okay. <laughs> oh, I told them to buy me some drinks because I don't buy alcohol. I just be out here. <laughs> I'm a follower when it comes to alcohol. Definitely only when it's people that I trust. If it's some straight people I've never met before, you ain't buying me alcohol. But I trust my friends. They bought me three shots for 23 yeah and it was so sweet drink i have no idea what they bought me like i'm gonna have to ask them i'm gonna have to ask them because i have no idea but they bought me three shots i took them shots like a g as you can see and after that 
we planned to go somewhere to go dance like uh deja was like now nah, let's go dance like i was ready because i had got hot you know I, what alcohol does but it wasn't a, it wasn't too much for me to be drunk it was enough for me to be hype and hot and ready and so i was expecting to go dancing and, I, and they were like oh let's go to this hookah bar and i'm thinking oh hookah bar maybe they got music maybe we can dance or whatever there and it was like super low key, super chill, which was fine because I love quality time with my people. I do. I really do. And I'm so glad we did that. Um, so we sat out and um, ordered a hookah. I originally wasn't going to smoke the hookah because one, I'm, I'm not a tobacco person, even though there's not much tobacco in hookah, like barely any, barely that it even touch you. But I just, I see stuff like that and I think people are just doing it to be cool or just to look fancy or whatever. And that's literally what hookah was for me. I'm super glad I actually tried it because I was just telling them like, no, I'm not going to try it. Like, I don't even, you know, want to. It's not anything I'm against. It's just something I just don't want to do because it's just like, why am I doing it, you know? I'm a very green, logical person when it comes to life situations. But we ended up having to get two because it was five of us which was weird because five of us we don't need two hookahs but ended up being five of us and we had to buy as rules of the restaurant or the hookah place we had to give two for five or more people and so we got the hookah i think we got something called new orleans and strawberry and i mean it was cool i'm glad i did it i got glad I can say i got it out the way and i tried it because now i can't say I've never tried it and I don't want to try it. It's like I've tried it and now I really don't want to try it because it's not me. If I really didn't want to do it, I would have done it, you know? But I went on and tried it. It was cool. It, it tasted pretty okay. And would I try it again? Sure. But not a definite yes. It's nothing I'm like desperate to have again, you know? We're going to move on from hookah. But I love hanging out with them, my nurse friends, because they just, we love just sitting down talking about deep stuff about life. And I love people who can just use their brands like that. Like, oh my God, I'm so happy to have met these people. They were like meant for me. This is crazy. We all just click. We all just hang out together and we talk and we just vibe. So it was me, Aaliyah, Daisha. I wish I took a picture. Why didn't I take a picture of them? Me, Aaliyah, Daisha, Taylor, and um, Carla. I love y'all. Thank y'all so much for just, you know, taking me out for my birthday. And that was like the first time I've done adult things for my birthday. Like, last, for my 21st birthday. Um, I did drink for my 21st birthday, but it was literally a month after my birthday. It wasn't like on my birthday. It's my 21st. Haha, <laughs> let me take these shots. No, I didn't even go out on my 21st birthday. Honestly, I think I was in... um. Yankton. South Dakota or North Dakota. You know what? Every year in college, my birthday fell on an archery tournament. So I was always shooting my bow on my birthday. That's you. That's why I really didn't celebrate. Like my teammates, yes, of course, sang me happy birthday for dinner that night. And they, um, you know, treated me special. I think when we were in Yankton, we went to a Mexican restaurant. And they did the little, you know, the Mexican hat and smashed the thing on my face. It was, it was cool. Um. But it wasn't like centered around me turning 21, let me get a drink or a shot. You know, my first drink. Yeah. So, yeah, I really do appreciate my friends for, you know, taking me out. I don't think they know that that was my first time ever, you know, doing anything adult-like on my birthday pretty cool pretty cool friends and so after that we went home went to sleep and so wednesday came and i got that freaking massage y'all that freaking massage with the massage envy it was lit lady got all my kinks out left sore and thirsty but it was good i went on and joined their membership 60 dollars a month so i can go once a month give me a massage and i'm so excited to say that I'm 23 and it's lit. So Wednesday night, I pretty much just chilled. Um, you know, spent some more time with special people in my life. Thursday, I woke up, got dressed, went on a drive. Honestly, it was just a drive. I went on a drive. I just wanted to go out and just drive. I went to the library because I need to get some stuff done on a PC computer rather than my MacBook. Whatever I was doing was not working on my MacBook and I had to get a PC computer. So I went to the library for an hour, did that. I went to the grocery store, came back, and then pretty much just chilled for the rest of the day. And went to sleep and woke up the next day, went to work, went to work Friday and Saturday. And my dad and my uncle and my uh 
uncle's lady came down to see me, which was really cool. Me and my dad went to breakfast yesterday morning. And we all just chilled around my house. Y'all was just exhausted from work. So I slept. They were in there watching Lucifer on Netflix. And I woke up. We Next thing we did was eat. So everything I did yesterday was just eat, sleep, and eat. And then they finally left. It was a really chill time for them. Like I just really enjoy company. We literally just spent quality time together. I love quality time. That's my love language. So any anybody who wants to hang out with me just because it touches my heart. Like they literally came here, did nothing but hang out with me and left. Like I love my dad. I love my uncle. Oh my God. I love them. And then they left. And uh, I think I chilled the rest of the day. You know, I did some stuff with my benefits online signed up for some health insurance dental insurance and also just read about my 401k and how much i want to put into that adult stuff you know adult born stuff with a lot of words still stressed about it but we're gonna make it happen and then i went to sleep and now i'm here i just got out the shower and i'm here talking to y'all and so that was my entire week of my birthday and i'm just truly you know grateful for my 22nd year and i'm grateful for the week of my you know the first week of my 23rd year of me just celebrating and treating myself and just you know truly getting to the point where kisi you deserve this because if you know me i don't buy myself anything i don't um you know i don't celebrate myself i'm usually nervous about that because it's like who's gonna come people are not gonna show up and um as we speak, I just started cramping, so you know what day it is. <laughs> oh god. Um, but I did want to just say thank you for everybody who helped me celebrate my birthday. I had a wonderful time. Um, thank you for all the birthday wishes on my Instagram, you know, Snapchat, Facebook, all the social medias. And thank you, YouTube, for going three years without knowing my birthday, but treating me like every day is my birthday when I upload a video. Be super excited when I come back. I love y'all so much and I love everybody in my life. I love everybody that I've met and helped me celebrate. And I'm looking forward to having an even better 23rd year. I'm looking forward to, you know, just doing above and beyond so I can celebrate next year. I'm excited. I'm so excited. I got so much good stuff coming for y'all. I'm working on some things down low. Uh, keeping it on a DL for right now until I truly get started. And I'm going to update y'all now. I'm excited about that. I'm excited about that. Y'all y'all going to be shocked when I come back and tell y'all what it is. But y'all going to be excited. Y'all going to be excited. I'm, I'm excited. <laughs> but, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to. I'm sorry. My nose itch. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to talk to me in the comments and follow all my social media below. And I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.